have to be honest. We may have, well, he may have <laughs> embellished, lied a bit on our application. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> She's been on this honesty kick all week. <laughs> well, we had a feeling you might have embellished. Not too many two-year-olds are proficient on the bassoon. <laughs> the bassoon? Oh, well, they're too short for the cello. <laughs> That was an old episode of Full House starring Lori Loughlin where her character acknowledges cheating on school admissions was wrong. When the news broke of the college admissions scandal, Loughlin's daughter, Olivia Jade, was reportedly spending spring break on a University of Southern California official's yacht. Joining us right now for, with reaction is Fox News contributor, Greg Gutfield show correspondent, Kat Timpf, along with former Obama campaign advisor and Democratic strategist, Robin Biro, as well as Axios Markets newsletter author, Dion Rabuin, and Fox News contributor and national security analyst, Morgan Ortegas. Great to see everybody. Thanks so much Good for season. joining us. Thank you. Uh, your reaction, Kat. Well, I think that it's really quite a sad thing that she's probably going to go to jail for this to send a kid to school that openly admitted she has no interest in school. Yeah. She said she wants, she's like, I'm not really into school, but I want to like go party. I want to go to the games. That's like sadder than old yeller to me. I really, really think it is. <laughs> but and it's, and she's not helping her daughter either because like those lessons, like hard work pays off and yeah. you have to work hard for what you want. She's not creating a future for her daughter. She's creating a monster by just making her so entitled and thinking she could just because she has a rich mom and dad, mm. she can do whatever she wants. Robin, what do you think? How do you see it? Oh, you know, power and money and power have always bought influence, of course. But what really gets me is that the, they had the nerve to claim the tax deduction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? That is pretty uh, Yeah, pretty I right. just can't believe it. Uh, and I feel bad for the, 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 the kids who really worked and tried so hard right. that a spot was taken from them for something like this. Right. So. This isn't victimless. There's no. students that could have gotten in and didn't because of this. And we wanted to get your reaction, all of you, because you're the millennial generation, just to see if there's a different way to view this. Uh, social media went nuts over this, as you know. I mean, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, all talking about this scandal. Dion, your, your take on it. Yeah, my take on it is just that, you know, I hope they all go to jail. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, look, here's the thing. There's not really a plea deal to be had here, you know? It's like, we got you on tape. We know that you did it. We've got you talking about what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, what you plan on doing with the money, all that. And there's not really a, a link up. There's no one up the chain that we want to get. They've already got kind of the mastermind behind the scandal. So there's really no reason these guys should get a sweetheart deal or, you know, a slap on the wrist. That, folks go to jail. I mean, Morgan, I know that parents will do just about anything for their kids and, and, and yeah. to get their kids into colleges, but this was a real structure. I mean, this was a very elaborate scheme. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg, Maria. What I'm hearing from my friends in Southern California is it's typical like any money launderer uh, or any front company. This guy, he had like legitimate tutoring businesses. And this goes really deep. I spoke to a friend just two days ago who, who the, he uh, tutored his daughters on the SAT. And so there was a number of legitimate things he did. And what he would do is penetrate the wealthiest high schools. He would he would reportedly work with some of the private wow. wealth managers. I, again, it, this is going to go so much deeper than we realize. This was a real scheme. And at a time when we're talking about millennials, we're actually facing such extremely high rates of college uh, indebtedness that people are still yes. trying to pay off student loans. Yeah. They can't buy homes. It's sort of, I think, a big slap in the face. I, mean, I, I know that I paid for my school through scholarships and, and loans and, yeah. and still paying off my MBA. And so when you see that, when you're working hard to get these degrees, um, and then you see it so blatantly taken advantage of. It's, it's really hard to swallow. Yeah, and have it all those uh, students who didn't get in because right. there wasn't a spot for them. Yeah, and There's they, that as well. Who are actually qualified and could have gotten in. But, exactly. But Olivia Jade wanted a party at the football game. Exactly. And had a rich mommy and daddy. I would be furious if I applied to USC and didn't get in uh, yeah. and then saw this was gone. Exactly. a lot of people who applied to the University of Spoiled Children because they wanted to <laughs> 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 you know, 
Yeah. Actually, I'm spoiled children. Oh. The veteran in me wants them to go to military school now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did any of you experience that outage last night on Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp? Uh, technical issues yes. all day yes. yesterday. All day. Facebook had to take to, uh, uh, to rival Twitter to explain what the heck was going on. Social <laughs> media users shared their witty responses to the d technical difficulties. We're, we're going to show some on screen. What, what was what was your reaction? It was awful. I was eating dinner yesterday and I couldn't post a picture of it. Oh no! <laughs> like, why am I even eating at all? <laughs> This is hilarious. Frankly, I was glad my screen time on, on my little Apple app would go down. Because I cringe every time I'm like, oh, I don't want to look at my screen time. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> guys, thank you. I know you guys are coming back in the 8 a.m. Thank you, Kat, Tim, uh, Robin, Dion, and Morgan. We will see you in the next hour. Still ahead, Donald Tusk's new friend, the European Council president, sharing a heartwarming letter he received from a six-year-old as Britain prepares for its exit from the EU. Back in a minute. Welcome back more to that college admission scandal. Lori Laughlin released on a $1 million bond uh, and is scheduled to face a Boston judge with Felicity Huffman on March 29th. CEO Gregory Abbott and his wife, Marsha, also reportedly bought their daughter's way into school, their son, Malcolm, coming to their defense while smoking pot on the streets of New York and promoting his mixtape saying this, they're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. I believe everyone has a right to go to college, man. Joining <laughs> me right now, reaction is Fox News contributor and Greg Gutfield show correspondent, Kat Timpf, former Obama campaign advisor and Democratic strategist, Robin Biro, Axi Axios Markets Newsletter author, uh, Dion Rabowin, and Fox News contributor and national security analyst, Morgan Ortegas. Great to see you guys. Well, I mean, just the idea that he's on the streets of New York smoking marijuana oh. in the face of this what, what, what is he thinking? That's, that's not even a misdemeanor anymore, right? <laughs> now, now in de Blasio's New York, you know, that's just like a, a getting a traffic ticket. So, uh, and, hey, maybe his mixed no, is hot, it's Maria. Still, maybe it's it's, it's yeah. not legal right. in New York. No, no, for... no, it's not legal, but it's basically like getting a traffic ticket at this yeah. point. It's yeah. gross. I'm so sick of smelling weed. No, I was just going to say, I can't walk down the street without getting caught in a cloud of weed smoke. Well, I mean, it's probably going to go, to, to go legal at some point. But the real point is, it's not... And this guy is sort of sticking his, his, his nose, you know, sticking his finger in the hurt yes. by, by doing this. This is what happens when you have parents who will get you out of anything and right. everything and who will do anything for you. They make you so entitled that this guy's saying, oh, I'm going to be a rap star. I bet you, I mean, I, I've not heard, and, and I, I have not heard his CD, but I do not plan <laughs> to tape. listen his to it. Tape. His mixtape. Uh, his mixtape. I, I, I just, this is what happens when you're so entitled and you know your parents will get you out of anything. This is the way that you behave. I'm not I buying that mixtape at a gas station. No. <laughs> I hope his parents didn't spend money on him getting into college. Yeah. They probably buy his I weed. <laughs> so do you, do you think all the, the students involved are either going to be pulled out or is it's too late for that? I mean, they're not going to, they're obviously not going to uh, let anyone in who right. attempted to cheat. Like I said, pull them out and yeah. uh, send them to military school. As a vet, I'm all for it. Well, this mm -hmm. scandal's been going on for years. I think they tracked it back to about 2011 to 2018. Yes. So some of these kids, yeah. I think, are still in college. Some of these kids probably have their degrees already and have moved on. Maybe they have jobs in, you know, prestigious firms. Who knows? Obviously, some are out selling mixtapes on the street and smoking marijuana. Yeah. But, you know, uh, these kids are, a lot of them, I think, have probably already graduated and moved on. And really, what do you do? You can't take the degree back. Yeah, I wonder how the students did in school, given yeah. the fact that they did pay their way in. Hey, how about this? Pay for play, Fortnite. Great Tyler Blevins, known as Ninja, reportedly made a million dollars for promoting the competition Apex Legends. So he's being paid to promote this. What a life to get paid for playing video games. Everyone else <laughs> plays video games to the detriment right. of their career. Yeah. I think that good for him, wonderful, uh, 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 but I don't think kids should look at this and say, see mom That's and dad, I don't gotta do my homework. <laughs> I'm gonna be a millionaire by playing video games. But it works hey, for him. If Kendall Jenner can get a quarter of a million dollars for one post on Instagram to promote the fire Festival, why not? And, and look at this from the market's perspective. This was really a great thing for EA. They were falling behind mm. other video game makers uh, for 
Fortnite has really sucked all the air out of the video game space, and this really got EA back on top. I think they've got about 50 million users playing this game right now, which was the biggest launch in, I think, a long time, at least since Fortnite's been out, and their stock has really responded as a result. So. I, I'm a capitalist. I'm all for people making money, whether it's through promoting video games, reality yeah. TV, like, what you know, whatever. Whatever, yeah. as long as you're making money. I'm not into socialism and free everything. Yeah. Well, speaking, yeah. speaking of uh, making money, L listen to this. There are now more wealthy households in the United States, uh, equivalent to the entire population of Sweden. Uh, last year, more than 10.2 million households saw a net worth of a million to $5 million, breaking a new record according to a Spectrum Group survey. Pretty good stuff that you're awesome. seeing so many millionaires in the U.S. and people lifted out of poverty. That's capitalism. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely. It's absolutely. a great thing. It's so hip now to sort of demonize people for being successful. But that's not what this country is supposed to be out, uh, about. I don't understand where we reach the point where successful equals bad no yeah. that's a great thing it's a wonderful thing so what do you guys think about this whole debate about capitalism versus socialism good op-ed in the journal today by dan henninger socialism yes be afraid mm -hmm. your thoughts dion I, look, I mean, I don't know that socialism is coming to America. And again, there are lots of different types of socialism. There's, you've got Bernie on the left saying he wants democratic socialism, which it's important to point out is very different from what's happening in Venezuela and the situation there. You've also got places like Norway that have socialism. You've got Chile, who had a socialist president. So what that means is a lot of different things. I think a lot of people are quick to point at something and call it socialism. Well, let's be clear. This is, a federal, this is a federal uh, takeover of certain industries and that's, well, that's what Medicare what for All is, is right. that's what this Green New Deal is. So these are socialist policies. I'm a little interested to see Nancy Pelosi herself pushing back on some of these. Basically with the Green Deal she kind of said yeah that's cute and just moved on. So as, as a Democrat myself I was a little bit relieved because I'm scared. I'm more of the, the you know, I'm a Southern Democrat so the socialism stuff kind of scares me a little bit honestly. I, there's no doubt that the polling shows that Millennials and Generation Z are more in favor of socialism than any other generation. Right. I just don't think they totally understand what it is. They think it's wearing like a Che Guevara t-shirt. I think you're right. Great Millennial panel, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. Appreciate it. Cat Tim, Robin Biro, Dion Rabowen, and Morgan Ortegas. We'll be right back.